Uh, thank you, Minister Tourism. I just want to assure you that I would not pay a cent for all the things you've said. <laughs> At um, Royal Highnesses who are present here tonight, former Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Eswatin and patron of this uh, initiative, a former classmate, of course, he, and um, at Salesian. I understand tourism minister as well is from Salesian. Yeah. Must the Masilela families, no. the man went to Salesian. Uh, shall I stop? Uh, the Pico family present here, Masango and Sobukwe, the Salesian youth over there. Supporters of the number 43 Triloni Park initiative, sponsors, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Before I make a few comments, and it will indeed be very few, and I'd like you to count, it's not going to be more than five points that I'll be raising, believe me. Before I do that, I just want to read a message that came this evening while we were sitting there with um, Elias Masilela, and that comes from the recently retired um, General Shoke. Anyone knows him? Yes. Sure. Yes. I, I trust you too. <laughs> he writes this evening, I wish you all the best for the event. He continues to say, I must commend you for celebrating the legacy of Makoko, who is a symbol of many South Africans who have a supreme sacrifice for the liberation of our country, South Africa. It is therefore important that we inculcate the spirit of selflessness to the next generation. I wish to also call upon all freedom-loving people to close ranks and defend freedom that many of our, our people have sacrificed and died for. Regards, retired General Shoke. I thought I would read this. He, he lived in the country also for a very long time, and I, I think it um, goes to show how important this event is. And first, my first point is to say thank you very much to the Masilela family for continuously running this event. You know, Organizing a, an event of this nature takes a lot of energy, a lot of energy. It also takes a lot of resources. It takes commitment, dedication, and a lot of planning. So I just want to thank all the Masilela family including the retiring uh, general of the Masilela family. I'm, I'm hoping no one is going to call upon me to retire from my involvement with this initiative because I will send a very strong protest to, to, to where I can. The second point I want to make is that this year is the 14th edition of this event. 
there are people who are arguing saying it's the 12th. And they were saying because it didn't happen in this format in 2020 and 2021 because of the COVID. But I, I was arguing with the friends I was discussing this matter. I will not reveal who they are, but I, I, I thought 2020 and 2021 were very significant in that we continued with the outreach. And in fact, the support to those vulnerable uh, families that we, we supported, um, that were supported, increased. So this is one of the reasons we were arguing and saying, no, actually, those were even the, the best years for the um, commitment and the objectives of Makokoism. And this 14th um, edition has coincided with two very important events and we're quite busy in the country. On the 13th of June was um, Albinism Month or Day. On the 16th of June, it was Day of the African Child. And today, Yesterday and today, it was, and still is, Magogoism. And all these events coming together point to the importance of the uh, common drive for human rights, for caring for the vulnerable, which is an important uh, recognition at, at this point. The number four. His Majesty's government continues to support this event. And it is not something that just started. The support did not just start now. It dates way back during um, Labo Tsiben when that Queen Mother supported the liberation struggle in the region. And it continues to King Sopuza II, who during his time, uh, those of us who are young enough, like my friend Lucky here, will remember that in 1978, the, the country uh, started, introduced an, uh, an airline Royal Swazi Airways, and the first aircraft, a uh, Fokker 27, called Luchuan Senzele. Yes, like those of us who are young remember that vividly. <laughs> and this aircraft would convey those cadres who had come in and had to go to Lusaka, Nairobi, Kenya, Dar es Salaam, Malawi, and everywhere. So the routes were like Matsapa, Cape Town, collect them, bring them here, take them out to Nairobi, Lusaka, Zambia, etc. So that, that, that shows the support that has always been, been here. So you have uh, number 43, you have the airline working together to free South Africa. The support actually for, for, for this uh, initiative um, goes deep. Yesterday, the Prime Minister, the incumbent, he's a Salesian. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> he's also from, uh, from Salesian. He participated here and personally, I don't think I've missed one except when I've been out of the country, the, uh, the 14 edi ed editions have been part of that. So I've been part of it from government and sometimes on a personal note, but believe that even today, we, we will continue to support um, this initiative. And as I stand here, uh, I, I as Deputy Prime Minister, uh, Minister Tourism, 
in environmental affairs, I'd like you to pursue vigorously the issue of declaring number 43 as an historic site for this country. I think for you it will be more exciting because you are in, in, in tourism. When you're in Manzini, there's this uh, stone church which has been converted into a museum at the Raleigh Fitkin Memorial. No, it's a Nazarene. <laughs> and so we, the tourists, are going to link this. So before the end of your term, I'll be assisting you. We must make sure that this is done. Now, this month we have been uh, busy with the month, I mean, the Day of the African Child. And I also want to thank uh, the organizers of this event, Bomasilela, to that you have invited the Blues there. Uh -huh. The boys from Salisia. <laughs> and, and I think they're sitting there appreciating the power of going to school. The power of history, because they're not going to be reading the history, but they'll be picking, they will not just be reading history, but they'll be picking from what has been said here, and this will generate interest so that they um, can tell the next generation. We complain these days that the people who didn't see the struggle don't appreciate what is happening. And, but that is true. Uh, that is true. You, you hear the carelessness in discussing and describing uh, neighbors by others to see that there isn't the appreciation. And I think this uh, uh, legacy event is going to help us appreciate one another. Because all is important when we can appreciate um, one another. And having said all this, we will be here again next year. And uh, we will be making more friends. We, we, I will also be planting more seeds today. Just for you left one of my good um, doctors. He, he, he's an eyeist. Uh, I hope you remember the guy. He said he deals with eyes. I didn't see him today, so he didn't come. And uh, we need all of them to continue to come. <laughs> now, an eyeist is someone who should. Be. <laughs> Why should, why should we com complicate things and call them ophthalmologists when the eyes here and we call it eyes? You know, if you deal with the knee, you are nothing else but a kneeist. So always, always, no, but don't do that. Uh, yeah. Don't write that because the deputy prime minister didn't say it. But thank you very much. Uh, one more time. I'm sure I'll have the opportunity to take a picture with you guys. Sure. Uh, but the head teacher, I'm going to be visiting your school as well. We will continue to talk about number 43 at Salijan. Oh, yes. Thank you.